Hi guys, welcome to Cal Portwood Craft. I'm Cal, and in today's episode we're going to be making a stair gate. Well, actually it's more of a doggy gate because it's to stop a little dog going into a nail salon for a customer of mine. If this were a stair gate, I'd probably make this out of something a little bit stronger than what I'm making out of because I'm making this out of MDF because I need it to be a little bit more sleek and to have a nicer finish with the paint. If I were to make it for a child, I'd probably make it out of pine or something like that, uh, just a little bit stronger, So, because you know what kids like swinging on it. But without further ado, we'll get on with the build, and the first thing we're going to be doing is cutting all the material down with the track saw. Well, Jake, setting up the track saw then, I'm going to mark out for the first cut, which is five inches. We need two pieces of five inches to mount on either side of the door frame to mount the stair gate onto. And because I've got the Triton square guide on my track, I don't I only need to put the one mark at five inches and then just rip away. You'll notice that we are cutting on the waist side, but we're not worried about that as long as all the pieces are consistent. So these will be just under five inches, but that's irrelevant really. Now we're going to cut the styles and they're going to be four inches. So we need two at four inches and then we're going to cut the rails. They're going to be three inches. A little bit of maths now guys. So the overall space we've got is 675 mil from one side of the door to the other. And we've got two pieces of MDF either side of the door to mount the stair gate onto and they're 18 mil each. So 675 minus the 18 mil either side, 36 equals 639. And then we've got the styles at both sides which are measuring in at 196. So we need to minus that, which takes us down to 443. Then we want a three mil gap to be able to close the gate without it rubbing on the wall and a two mil gap for the hinges. And that equals in at 438. So I hope that makes sense, just about does for me. But if we go by that, we should be bang on. Just had a little consultation with Jake and we've decided just to add a couple of mil on because worst case scenario, we can also, we can just take the tracks over with us and cut a little bit off one of the styles and touch that up on the inside with the paint. Uh, it's better than it being too small and not fitting. So we're going to go for that. I've set the stop lock up at 700 mil for the two styles and then we've got enough material left over here to cut out the two rails at 440 mil. On the rails we've got three styles what are going to be used as the bars on the stair gate and we've worked out exactly where we want them. The centre one is 120 mil and that's because this one's going to have a design in the middle of it and the other two are 60 millimetres so we're just cross referencing them now and the centre line is where we're going to put the biscuit which is what we're going to use to attach them for the joinery. So we'll get those cut now. The centre style is going to have a love art cut into it, so I'm going to cut that with a jigsaw, just freehand through that, and I'm going to cut it out. And I'm packing away for the day. Because I is tired. For the styles and the rails, we're going to use dowels. 
as these are going to be stronger and then for the central bars we're going to use biscuits marking the corresponding dowel sections bb and aa at the other side i've got this doweling jointer so i'm going to be using this but you could use a, dowel, a normal doweling jig And now for the centre rails, the bars, we've marked them for BB, for biscuits, because these don't need to be as strong. And then we've also marked the location. So we're going to go for zero biscuits in these two and 20s in the centres. We've put a round over on all the inside pieces and this is going to do a couple of things it's going to soften the look of it all to the hand and take them sharp edges away and it's also going to be more beneficial for when we spray it because you want them sharp edges where you're going to get uh, beads of paint and we've got our numbers all corresponding so we know where everything goes and it looks like quite a big glue up with lots of different biscuits and uh, dowels but Touch wood, shouldn't be too bad. Do the biscuits first because we can just push them together like so, and then we'll do the dowels last. Are you ready, Jip? When you're knocking these into MDF, be really careful because this can split very easily. And don't forget to wipe your glue about, like I just did. Bit more glue. So that was a bit of a crazy glue up. Uh, I could easily cut that bit out, but I'm not going to because that's real. Thought it was going to be an easy glue up, pulled down on the dowels and the whole thing exploded everywhere and I had glue everywhere. I also glued on the inside of the full frame, which I didn't need to. Just wipe any excess glue off now. It's been 24 hours and we've unclamped everything and we've added a round over on the top here which we didn't show you because it was the same as what we did on these edges and we've took all the sharp edges off every last surface so when we do spray it with a sprayer we don't get any uh, bubbles of paint on the edges so everything's sanded to 240 grit rounded over and now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the gate mounts which are these pieces of timber but there's a these are a bit big so we're just going to cut these down and we're just going to double this one up so we've got a little ledge for the door to close against and then on the other piece that's just going to be totally flat and we're just going to round that one over on the edges so it's nice to the touch. So this is the uh, stair gate mount, what we're going to mount the hinges to and through into the door frame. So I've just put that flush with the stair gate and using the combination square, I'm just going to 
put that up to there and mark out where I want the hinge to start, which is four inches in at the top and bottom. And then I can transfer them lines onto the gate mount. Put my hinge in position and mark where the hinge goes. Transfer them lines over and cut them out of the router. You'll see that next. First thing I've done then is set the depth of the 12mm straight bit cutter to the depth of the hinge. And then what I've done is I've put a sacrificial piece of timber, attached that to the stair gate, which is mounted onto the workbench. And what that's going to do is that's going to stop the router from toppling as we get close to the edge. So that should keep everything nice and stable. Next thing I did is I spun this sacrificial piece around to get rid of the rough edge there, what was here, and now I'm just going to locate the hinge and push it up to that so it's flush and that's a nice perfect fit and then we're going to use one of these drill bits which automatically finds the center we're using this quick dry and deco style paint it's a, a white and it's acrylic base so it dries really quick we're just going to give it a really good mix Now we're going to filter the paint into the canister and I couldn't find a pair of my wife's old tights so I knew this would come in handy for summer. Is this all on camera Jim? Yeah. Is it going for it? No. <laughs> Swap. Right guys, we're just installing the stair gate and this PC where the hinge is attached to here, just over, over, over drill these holes slightly. So when you attach it to the wall, that the MDF doesn't split. And we're just gonna line this up now, attach the hinges and then put the stair gate on. As you've seen with the planer, we've just removed any excess material. So we made it oversized by a couple of mil and then we've just planed it off this side here. We should have backed out Right guys, finishing touches. I've uh, got the gate up now, just attach the hinges and you can see them shutting nicely. I'm just gonna attach this little bracket, this little bolt, should I say, here. And that's it, all done, jobs are good. I'm just gonna put some pencil mark on here and then push it against the wall and then I'll know where to drill it out. There you go, there's a little dot exactly where I need to do it. Then I've got another be beautiful set here, what Roland Tools sent me. Uh, the Thamash range, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, so, and I've got a lovely countersink in here which works brilliantly. So I'll use that just to countersink the hole where the bolt goes in 
and then the bolt will slide in easier from any direction without rubbing on the paintwork. There you go guys, but there's no toddlers in here for this stair gate, there's just Mr. here. <laughs> Oops. Come here. Come here. Hey, be good. Say hi. Wave. Wave. Say hi. Go on, So that's it then guys, all done. If you'd like to support the channel, don't forget you can do that through Patreon. So just follow the link down below. And you can do also do one-off donations through the PayPal donation page. And I'll catch you on next week's video. Bye.